Titans or God Engines are the most massive terrestrial war machines of the Imperium aside from the Ordinatus engines and the mobile fortresses. The appearance of a Titan in many battles often changed the tide or is seen as an automatic victory. However, there are many battles in a grim dark where even the God Engines or the Titans suffer massive losses. This shows that even the most massive, the most powerful of humanity's war machines are not invulnerable and can be brought down. For example, Legio Annihilator defended the world of Megaira from High Fleet Jormungandr, initially successful against Termagons and Carnifexes. Their victory was cut short by a massive Tyranid Bio Titan similar in size to a Reva Titan. This creature easily destroyed a Warlord and then ravaged the remaining Legio War Engines, leading to the fall of Megaira. In another battle, Legio Bombaster fought to defend the fortress world of Shenzi Vo from an Iron Warriors and a Death God invasion. Despite their efforts, all of their Titans were destroyed in an Iron Warriors ambush. And so with this intro done, let's take a look at the 10 engagements with the most Titan losses. Let's get to it. At number 10 we have the War of Bees on Vigilus. Also known as the War of Nightmares after the arrival of Chaos, this is a present conflict on the Imperial world of Vigilus. So Vigilus is a world situated within the Nakhman Gauntlet, which is one of the few passages through the Great Rift to the Dark Imperium. As such, the plan has become very vital for the Imperium and thus is a target for a wide number of its enemies. One such enemy is a gene stealer cult known as the Claw of the Thirsting Worm. In one of the engagements known as the Belt for Megaborealis, the cultists were able to steal Vortex missiles and detonate them in the Hive Sprawl Center, wiping out much of the assets of the defenders such as even a Warlord Titan called Dominus Rex. All the other Titans of Legio Feroxes were destroyed in a chain reaction due to the massive initial explosion of Dominus Rex and due to the Vortex implosion. Legio Feroxes was lost that day and there were maybe 20 to 30 ti Titans lost in the catastrophe, at minimum. Number 9. Attack on Kurnak 3 Kurnak 3 is an Imperial Forge world and also the home to Titan Legion called Legio Corpates and was a key world in the Kurnak system. During the Octarius War, the planet came under attack from Orc Warboss called Nabrot Stop Fingers. Despite a determined defense led by the skilled fabricator general called Esmeralda Brynlock, Kurnak 3 eventually fell, and despite having a force of 32 Titans from Legio Corpites and a help from other Imperial forces, the planet couldn't be saved. In the final stages of the battle, Brynlock managed to organize an evacuation to the nearby system of Kusolts, planning to regroup and one day take back their world. It is theorized that all the Titans of Legio Corpites were lost in the attack. Number 8. The Cataclysm of Iron During the Horus Heresy, through sectors of Segmentum Tempestus and Segmentum Pacificus, numerous lesser forge worlds were known as collectively the Belt of Iron, and they were located there and thus the traders attacked them to gain advantage in the Civil War. This became known as the Cataclysm of Iron, and here significant Titan losses were reported across multiple theaters of war. In the invasion of Nedrina, estimates placed between 60 to 70 traitor Titans committed to the assault, with the Loyalists deploying at least 50 Titans to defend. The relief of Zilokshi II saw a protracted conflict though exact Titan losses were not really detailed. In the assault of Fendari Prime, a Decat, which means 10 of the Firebrand's Titans were lost. The conquest of Nidrina reported 18 Loyalist Titans lost initially and then again 9 along with a few traitor Titans and they were lost causing catastrophic damage to the planet's biosphere. Then lastly, Dozens of, tra of traitor titans were lost upon Arachnus when Legio Venator and Legio Atarus attacked to reclaim the planet for the Imperium. The total titan casualties would thus be over 50 titans from both sides at the least. Number 7. The Ruin of Merdan The Ruin of Merdan took place on the Imperial colony called Merdan, located on the edge of Segmentum Solar, where both loyalists and traitors fiercely fought for control. This was during the Horus Heresy. The battle featured an epic clash between Titan Legions, with the Loyalist God Engines of Legio Griffonicus, Legio Metallica and Legio Destructor going up against the Titans of Legio Mortis, Legio Argentum and Legio Vulturum. Over 200 Titans took part in what became one of the largest Titan battles of the early heresy, reducing Myrdan to ruins. 
both sides suffered heavy losses and probably more than 50 titans were lost in the engagement. There was a standout moment when a Reaver Titan called Eterno Rex, piloted by Princeps Useless Kine, was taken down by an all-out attack from two dozen Knight Lancers of House Perdaxia, which really shows the power differences between a Knight and a Titan. Number 6. The Third War for Armageddon The Third War for Armageddon saw an immense scale of battle between millions of Orcs and human forces vying for control of the planet. Amongst the human defenders were an estimated 50,000 Space Marines, around 1.5 million Guardsmen, deployed across the Armageddon subsector. Alongside these forces were several Titan Legions, each playing a key role in defending Armageddon. Legio Crucius, Legio Ignatum, Legio Invigilata, Legio Magma, Legio Metallica, Legio Tempesta and Legio Victorum. The battles were brutal, with significant losses on both sides. Legio Invigilata lost 14 in the defense of Hive Hell's Reach. Legio Crucius lost 6 in the Diabolus Complex. Legio Ignatum was nearly wiped out, losing 75% of its forces during the battle for Volcanus Hive, and Legio Metallica lost 3 to 4 Titans during the fighting in Hive Tartarus. In total, over 40 Imperial Titans were lost, and the Orcs, crude but deadly Titan equivalents called the Gargans, also suffered hundreds of losses. Number 5. The Defense of Ryza So the Siege or the Defense of Ryza during the Horus Heresy witnessed significant losses of Titans on both sides, though a precise count of total losses remains challenging to say the least. Loyalist Titans from Legia Crucius engaged those of Traitor Legion called Legia Vulturum, and over eight days both sides endured heavy casualties. The Loyalists suffered further when Legio Magna attacked their repair facilities, leading to the destruction of several Titans undergoing maintenance. Key Titan kills occurred throughout the campaign. Loyalist Warhouse managed to bring down Traitor Warlord Titans, including Cordus Ignis and Baron Ashes. The Loyalist Reaver Titan called the Beast of Ryza destroyed two enemy Titans before falling, while the Warlord Titan called the Death of Avarice took down a Traitor Reaver called Shadow's Heir before it too was destroyed. During the assault on Prosperity, Legio Magna deployed nearly 50 Titans, heavily outnumbering the Loyalist forces. Despite this, Loyalists inflicted losses, including the destruction of Legio Magna Warlord called the Fist of Fire by the Warbringer Nemesis engines. In the Battle of Endeavor, Legio Mortis suffered significant losses, with seven titans, including the warlock called Vita Mesorum, destroyed in an explosion triggered by Loyalist missiles. During a suicidal charge by Legio Osidax and knights from House Tyrannus and Zavora, only 49 of the original 189 knights survived the intense fighting. The final battle took place at the spaceport, where 11 titans of Legio Vulturum and 14 from Legio Magna were abandoned by the retreating trader forces. All 25 of these engines were annihilated during a grueling 13-hour engagement, with the last Titan to fall being the Sanguium Luna. In total, the campaign saw the loss of dozens of Titans, including at least 25 from the traitors in the final battle alone, and a vast number of knights. The total tally of losses includes over 50 traitor Titans, several dozen loyalist Titans, and over 140 knights. Number 4. The Battle of Kalt the Battle of Kelth is infamous for the Ultramarines being betrayed by the word bearers. Horus had lured Rebuti Gilliman to Kelth under the pretense of countering an orc threat, and Gilliman mustered 200,000 Ultramarines from 20 chapters. However, the word bearers, led by Lorgar, Erebus, and Corferon, revealed their treasury, initiating a surprise attack that killed over 100,000 of the Ultramarines and millions of civilians. Dark rituals summoned demons and turned Kelth's weapons against the Loyalists. Despite devastating losses, the Ultramarines led by Gilliman after his survival in space rallied and eventually destroying the Woodbearer's fleet and their flagship as well as most of their forces on land. But the boys in blue weren't the only ones that suffered heavily. Legio Presagius lost a hundred titans to the surprise attack by the Woodbearers, to their ships, Kelt defense systems and to the titans of Legio Infernus who themselves lost 65 titans in the battle which brings the total number of titans lost or destroyed to 165. Number 3. The Battle of Orestes The Battle of Orestes, part of the Sabbath World's Crusade, was the largest titan engagement since the Horus Heresy. The conflict saw Legio Tempestus defending their homeworld of Orestes from a massive traitor titan assault. The traitors targeted Orestes because of 
its importance as a forge world supplying the greater crusade effort. However, due to the demands of the ongoing crusade, only 22 Tempestus Titans remained to face a trader force that outnumbered them 7 to 1. Despite the internal strife, the Tempestus and Invicta legions managed to unite long enough to win a decisive victory at Argentum, annihilating the attacking enemy Titans. Just when it seemed like a civil war between the Loyalist factions was inevitable, a Chaos Climate Tower was destroyed by the Imperial Guard. This revealed a new enemy force led by the mighty Imperator Tyrant called Ogmenatus Rex, forcing the Legio, Tempestus and Victor to put aside their differences again for mutual survival. As for the tally of forces, the battle involved 49 from Legio Invicta and 22 from Legio Tempestus, making a total of around 71 Loyalist Tyrants. The trade of forces consisted of around 174 Tyrants, far outnumbering the Loyalists. But in the end, almost all of the traitor Titans were destroyed, in the fighting plus many of the 71 Loyalists. Thus, the total tally would be at least 200 destroyed. Number 2. The Schism of Mars This was the civil war of the Mechanicum during the Horus Heresy, during the Death of Innocence, which are the initial stages caught by surprise Legio Honorum lost 19 Titans in the first hour of the attack on the Red Planet. Fabricator General called Kelbor Hal then unleashed a forbidden arcane knowledge and weaponry that had been corrupted by the ruinous powers. This corruption spread throughout the forges of the Loyalist Titan Legions in the form of a chaos contaminant viral scrap code. Due to this, Legio Aggravates was totally destroyed after their headquarters reactors went critical, annihilating their forests and much of the Erebus Montes. This resulted in at least 40 to 50 Titans lost. Another one known as Legio Fortidus lost 53 of its 127 Titans in the same attack. Later in the schism, a vicious battle erupted at Magma City. The Dark Mechanicum led by Legio Mortis and a dreaded Imperator Titan called Aquila Ignis. However, the Legio attack on Magma City was blunted when a lava overran the traitor ranks, and most of the Titans of Legio Mortis, including the Aquila Ignis, were then destroyed by the Titans of Legio Tempestus. Tempestus would themselves see a faction join the traitors and all the remaining Loyalist Titans there in Mars destroyed in the Schism. So, the total Titans loss in Mars in the Schism of Mars would be at minimum between 200 and 300. And number 1. Beta Garment 2 The Battle of Beta Garment 2, also known better as Titan Death, was the largest armored battle in the Horus Heresy. There were a total of more than 80,000 Space Marines millions of solar auxilia and other imperial army elements, thousands of tanks, hundreds of knights from 20 knight houses and 27 loyalist titan legions. Then on the other side, there were tens of thousands of traitor astaris, hundreds of regiments of the traitor imperial army, thousands of armored vehicles, hundreds of knights from 20 knight houses, as well as dozens of entire titan legions. The subsequent battles became one of the largest of the heresy, the scale was such that it encompassed multiple theaters such as the Titan Death and a sea of five campaigns. At Nicron City, 27 Loyalist Titan Legions were met by an equally massive trader force, and over a thousand Titans fought on the irradiated fields in what became known as the Titan Death. It is well understood that there were massive Titan losses from both sides throughout the campaign in Beta Garment 2, which would total to several hundreds of God Engines gone with the wind. Then there is a notable mention of the Siege of Terror. So Titan battles played a crucial role here, during the final stages of the Horus Heresy, as the massive god engines of the Collegia Titanica clashed on both sides. The Loyalist Titan Legions includes Legio Ignatum or the Fire Wasp, Legio Solario or the Imperial Hunters, and Legio Defensor or the Shield Bearers, standing in defense of the Emperor's Palace against the traitor Titans of Horus. These traitors includes one such as the Legio Mortis or the Death's Head, Legio Vulpa or the Death Stalkers, and Legio Furions or the Tiger Eyes, unleashing devastation across Terra's surface. Key engagements included the Battle of the Saturnine Gate, where Legio Ignatum heroically defended the palace against the Titans of Legio Mortis, and in the Battle of the Lion's Gate Spaceport, which saw massive losses as the traitor forces captured the spaceport despite fierce loyalist resistance, and then there was the Mercury Exultant Kill Zone. Entire trader legions were decimated after the siege, since Terra had the best defenses in the galaxy, that even Titans would be taken down with ease, well relative ease. 
so the exact approximation isn't known and that is why the Siege of Terror is here as a notable mention. And so with that we end this video on the 10 Titan Battles with the biggest losses. So if you like this video then watch this other one too. And if you want to browse for other sci-fi and Warhammer content then check out our channel. So subscribe, like for support and bang the bell icon for notifications on new video uploads. Till the next time, take care boys.